Welcome to Language Division Commercial Chinese Language Course. Today we are going to be looking at Module One, Chapter One, Introduction. Today we are going to be starting off a new journey of learning Mandarin. We are excited to start this journey with you. Let us begin. In this module, we are going to be looking at various topics. In this video, we are going to be focusing on basic greeting, followed by information seeking, business cards, business brochures, and company address. Let us begin with basic greeting. Your instructor for this course will be Jocelyn. Jocelyn graduates from the University of Witwatersrand with a BA degree in Business, Economics, Accounting and Life Skills Counseling. She is also a Cambridge Chinese Advanced Level Award Top Achiever. She is a dedicated entrepreneur, having completed the 2020 Empri Teco courses hosted by Seda South Africa, affiliated with the United Nations Entrepreneurship Development Program, which strengthens her passion into developing this course to enhance skills development. Let's look at how each slide will work. The word at the top of each slide is English. Then below, the orange words are the romanization which is how to pronounce Chinese phonetically. Romanization is pronouncing Chinese words using English phonetics. Our style of romanization consists of Yale romanization, as well as the system we have compiled through the years of teaching non-Chinese speakers. Under the romanization, are the Chinese characters and lastly, the green words are the pinyin and tones. The tones in Chinese are very important as they can change the meaning of each word. Each tone is allocated a number from 0 to 4, this will help you to pronounce the words correctly. Take note, if an asterisk is used, the tone has changed, please read the tone according to the number system provided. Please refer to our video, The Chinese Phonetic Guide, for more information. Let us begin. Now if you are ready. Please get yourself a pen or pencil and a notebook, and let's get started. Ma'am, new shoot, new shoot, new shoot, ma'am, Mr. Sien Shang. Xian Shang Xian Shang Mr. Hello Ni Hao Ni Hao Ni Hao Hello You polite form Nin Nin Nin, you in polite form. The difference between Nin and Ni, Ni is the general way of addressing you, whereas Nin is the polite form of you. Look at the word structure of Nin, it is the Chinese character Ni combined with a heart at the bottom. This gives the Ni a sense of importance. You can address superiors, elderly and first-time associates with Nin. How to? Zan ma? Zan ma? Zan ma? How to? Addressing someone. Cheng hu. Cheng hu. Cheng hu. Addressing someone. Surname Sing 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 Surname I am Wo Shi Wo Shi Wo Shi I am This person. Zhe Wei. Zhe Wei. Zhe Wei. This person. That person. Na Wei. Na 
way, na way, that person, he, ta, 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 he, she, ta, 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 she, hold, jiao, 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 cold. You can or you may. Ke yi, ke yi, ke yi. You can or you may. Married. 结婚了，结婚了，结婚了。Married. How to greet someone with a title? When you wish to be polite and formal, always use nin instead of ni. In Chinese culture, the family name precedes the given name. In a formal setting, it is considered as inappropriate or rude to address a senior by their given name. 先生 Mr. or 女士 Madam are neutral titles to be used if you are unsure of their social status. Please note, in the sentence section, after the sentence are repeated slowly, there will be a short pause so that you can repeat after us. Hello, I am Lu Wang. 你好，我是王璐。你好，我是。王路，你好，我是王路。You can replace the underlined name with your name. Using the example of Lu Wang, did you notice when we introduce ourselves in the Chinese way, we will put our surname first before the given name. So remember. When you introduce yourself in Chinese, always put your surname first. Now you must understand the Chinese culture. When we ask for the person's name, we will not ask them for their name directly. We will ask for their surname. In this case, what is your surname? Qing Wen is. Please may I ask? Gui means honorable. Xing. Means surname. 请问贵姓 Let's try it. 请问贵姓请问贵姓 What is your surname? How do I address you? 我怎么称呼您，我怎么称呼您？我怎么称呼您 ？How do I address you? Please call me Lu Wang. 请叫我。王路，请叫我王路，请叫我王路。You can replace the underlined name with your name. Let's try it. 请叫我。Your name. 请叫我
your name. 请叫我, please call me. Respond to greeting informally. You can respond by saying hello and the person's name. In this case, hello, Lu Guan. 你好, Wang Lu. 你好, Wang Lu. 你好, Wang Lu. Hello, Lu Guan. When you want to answer with the surname, in this case, my surname is Chiao, I will say 我姓乔, 我 means I, 姓 means surname, and Chiao is the actual surname. You can replace the Chiao with your surname. Let's try it. 我姓, your surname. 我姓, your surname. 我姓乔, I am Chiao. When you want to answer with your name, in this case, I am Jocelyn. 我叫乔西林, 我 is I, 叫 is called, 乔西林 is Jocelyn. You can replace the Jocelyn with your name. Let's try it. Wo Jiao in your name. Wo Jiao your name. Wo Jiao Chiao Xilin. I am Jocelyn. You can call me Jocelyn. Ni Kui. 叫我 Jocelyn. 你, you, 可以, can, call me, 叫我, Jocelyn. You can replace the underlined name with your name. Let's try it. 你, 可以, 叫我, your name. 你可以叫我, your name. 你可以叫我, Jocelyn. You can call me Jocelyn. Informal greeting. Remember to address the person with the surname first, followed by his or her title. In this case, Miss Chiao, hello. Chiao Xiao Jie, Nin Hao. Chiao is the surname. Xiao Jie is Miss. Nin Hao is hello. Chiao Xiao Jie, Nin Hao. Miss Chiao, hello. Mr. Wang, hello. Wang Xiansheng, Nin Hao. Wang is the Chinese way of saying Wang. Xiansheng is Mr. Nin Hao is hello. Wang Xiansheng, Nin Hao. Mr. Wang, hello. When you want to introduce a person formally, or the person is right next to you, you will introduce them by saying, this is, in this case, Mr. Liu. 这位是刘先生. 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 This is Mr. Liu. Now, when you want to introduce a lady, that is Miss Zhang. 那位是张小姐. 那位是, that is, 张, 
is the Chinese way of saying Zheng. Xiao Jie is Miss. Na Wei Shi Zhang Xiao Jie. Na Wei Shi Zhang Xiao Jie. That is Miss Zhang. Oops, Miss Jang is married. No, she is married. Bo is no. Ta is she. Jie Hun La is married. Bo. Ta. Jie. Hun. La. Bo. Ta jie hun la. No, she's married. You can call her Mrs. Liu. Ni ke yi jiao ta liu tai tai. Ni is you. Ke yi is can or you may. Jiao ta call her Liu, the surname Liu. Tai tai is Mrs. Ni ke yi jiao ta. You can replace it with the preferred surname and tai tai, Mrs. Ni ke yi jiao ta liu tai tai. Let's try it. Ni ke yi jiao ta, the person's surname, tai tai. Ni ke yi jiao ta liu tai tai. You can call her Mrs. Liu. To avoid embarrassing situation like just now, let us learn some extra vocabulary. For the miss, the ones that are single, unmarried, we will address her with xiao jie. Xiao Jie Xiao Jie Miss The ones that you are unsure of her status, whether she's divorced or widowed or whatsoever, we will call her with Ma'am Miss Nu Shi Nu Shi Nu Shi Ma'am or Miss Business Insights. Did you know? In the business meetings or conferences, successful businesswomen would prefer to be addressed as Shi. This shows their independence as they have their own achievements and title. And the ones who are married, the missus, we will address her with the husband's surname, followed by Tai Tai. Tai 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 Tai. Mrs. The following session will be our assessment activity. It is recommended that you revise our previous session first before proceeding. Please note that our assessment consists of two parts, A, vocabulary and B, sentences. Each part consists of five questions. Practice makes perfect. Please proceed if you have the confidence. Go ahead. You can do it. Assessment time. Listen to the following words and translate them into Chinese. Pause the video and answer the questions before you proceed to the next one. Are you ready? Let us begin. Ma'am or Miss. Nu shi. Nu shi. Nu shi. Ma'am or Miss? Mister. Xian Sheng. Xian Sheng. Xian Sheng. Mister. Addressing someone.
称呼，称呼，称呼 ，addressing someone. He, 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 he. Married. Married. How is it going? Are you managing? We still have one more assessment before you complete the chapter. If you got less than three in this assessment, please revise the lesson section before proceeding. Practice makes perfect. We are all cheering for you. If you got five out of five, congratulations. Please proceed to the next section. Assessment B. Translate the following sentences into Chinese. Are you ready? Let us begin. How do I address you? How do I address you? What is your surname? Ching Wen Gui Xin Ching Wen Gui Xin Ching Wen Gui Xin. What is your surname? Please call me Jocelyn. Ching Jiao Wu. Jocelyn, Ching Jiao Wu. Jocelyn, Ching Jiao Wu. Jocelyn, please call me Jocelyn. You can call me Luke Wang. You can call me. Wang Lu, Ni Ke Yi Jiao Wu Wang Lu. Ni Ke Yi Jiao Wu Wang Lu. Yes, you are right. The Wang must be in front of the Lu. This is Mr. Liu. This is Mr. Liu. How did it go? If you got less than three, please revise the lesson before we proceed. If you got five out of five, congratulations. We are so happy for you. Now, let us proceed. Congratulations! I'm so happy and I'm so proud. If you confess the three, no worries. Practice is key. If you confess the five, let us give you an achievement step to mark your progress. Now, you have successfully learned the basic how to address someone and how to introduce yourself. Let us now see the learning and let us continue. See you in the next video.